the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Quite often, you can find the two in the same location. Try finding them in a single deity. Today, I ask the question, who is Ishu? The god Ishu, also pronounced Esu, is from the Yoruba pantheon of West Africa. This particular deity has a very long history and at times can be much more complex than he may appear to be. He is well known for being a childish trickster, but he also has many other functions within nature and human experience that he is lord over. He is the lord of the crossroads and emissary of gateways. He is a god of segregation and direction among choices, of wit and the intellect, as well as dexterity and chaos. He has even been called the deity who cheats. Eshu Elegbara journeyed to the Western Hemisphere with enslaved devotees, where he emerged as one of the most significant, widely venerated spirits of African diaspora religions. He is called Papa Legba in Haiti, Elegua in Cuba, and Hishu in Brazil. He also may or may not be the same spirit as Paulo's Lucero. When it comes to iconography, Eshu is generally garbed in clothes that are colored red, black, and white. He generally will appear as either a young child or at other times as an old man. He can be seen wearing an elongated hat like the one a jester of a court would wear, which is quite fitting for this god of mischief and pranks. He will often be found at the crux or center of opposing forces and world dynamics. For the eclectic and obeya type practitioners whose traditional lineages cover a span from Western Asia all the way through Central Africa, the symbols are not so standardized. But you can find some essential elements, so I tried to capture them. As far as Ishu is concerned, what does seem to be consistent is a representation of the three-pronged fork, trident, or more commonly known as a pitchfork. The symbolism for such can be regularly seen reflected in the ideograms and sigils surrounding this deity. Even though Ishu is well known, for being deceptive and playing pranks, he does not like to lie. This can be expressed in a tale about Ishu concerning his brothers and sisters where they attempted to overthrow their father. Olodumare, the most supreme Orisha, had lived for ages in harmony with humans. He would attend to the requests for justice of both humans and the Orisha alike. Even in his old age, he maintained his capacity to be efficient in the performance of his duties. His continuous experience helped him to get better and better at executing his duties. His faculty for success in this endeavor aroused the envy of his children who wanted to take his place and gain the merits harvested by their father. The children of Olodumare sought to take their father's place. His sons and his daughters decided to meet up to attempt to come up with a plan to execute and achieve their goal. The key to the plan that they came up with to destroy the old man would be to use mice. They knew that in his fear, their father would either run away or in the best case, he would lose his life from a heart attack. They each gathered up a small cage full of mice and set about hiding the mice in different locations throughout their home before summoning Olodumare under the pretense of discussion and important matters. When their father arrived at the house, the Orisha set about releasing the various mice from their hiding places throughout the house. The only one among them who refused to participate was Ishu. Ishu witnessed the overwhelming fear in his father's eyes. He pounced on his father, pinning the old man down, and spoke to him. Father, you are Olodumare. There is no mouse that can do any harm to you. Ishu quickly set about catching each and every one of the mice and gobbled them up. 
so that they would not scare his father anymore and free their house of the pests. Once Olodumare came back to his senses, his fear changed to annoyance and then anger. He removed each of his other children from the hiding place that they had taken up and punished them all severely and in accordance with the scale of their actions. When Olodumare asked Ishu what reward he would like for his courage, Ishu replied that he did not need a reward and that it was his duty to protect his father. As emissary of the gateway, many rituals begin and end with Ishu. He even tends to serve as a messenger to and between various Orishas, oftentimes taking messages to the most refined and supreme of the Orishas that would rather not even get involved with human affairs. He certainly at times seeks to inject chaos into order. However, he will often as well be seen bringing order to chaos. <laughs>